Welcome to the Lamentum Patrol Mediation video vignette series, in which we discuss how to use specific features and capabilities of Lamentum Patrol Mediation to improve the security of endpoints in your organization's network. Hi, my name is Andrea Hillwick, and in this episode I'm joined by Russ Ernst from Product Management to discuss how you can use advanced patch deployment options to automate even the most complex patch deployments using Lamentum Patrol Mediation. Many organizations have to deploy multiple patches across hundreds or even thousands of endpoints on a regular basis, which can take a lot of time and coordination by the IT staff and at the same time impact the end users. Such deployments take careful planning and manual adjustments. So Russ, how can one automate this process and still customize deployments? Well, hi Andrea. Using Lumension Patch Intermediation, we make it very easy to manage vulnerability deployments across a wide variety of networks. So let's walk through how we can do this. From the LEMSS interface, I want to first manage my endpoints that are available. This is going to bring up a macro view of all of the endpoints that are being managed in this organization. In this demo environment, I see a mix of operating system systems that are under management, but it's only 14 systems. Imagine if I was in a larger enterprise and was managing hundreds or even thousands of endpoints. Most likely what I'd like to do at that point is manage these endpoints by groups. And we do a good job of breaking up the groups into system groups. So these are auto-generated groups, grouped by IP collection or by OS type. So I have my Linux groups, my Windows groups, and my Mac groups. And I also have groups by virtual machine. I can also bring in machines by using my AD sync. In this case though, I also want to look at some custom group options. And I could also generate these groups for some typical use cases where some organizations may want to manage just their desktops separately from their servers or from a geographical region. In this example, I want to look at the machines that are under management for my vulnerability management group. Say I'm an administrator that's responsible for managing this group of machines. So let's take a look at the endpoints under management in this group. So I have it narrowed down to just this smaller group of machines under management. Keep in mind too that in Lamention Patch Intermediation we can use some advanced users and roles options to limit the views that are available for individual administrators or individual uh, roles. So for example, if I'm a manager or an operator, I can limit what's available for those different roles and in larger organizations, actually even set the view for specific users for specific groups so they can manage just those machines that are under that group. So we have a lot of flexibility in Lumension Patch Intermediation. In this example, I actually want to look at the vulnerabilities that are available for, for these groups. This brings up all the vulnerabilities for this vulnerability management group. And now I want to take a look at some specific deployment options that are available when, when managing these machines. So in this case, I want to look at, say, just some recent content from Microsoft from the latest Patch Tuesday. This is going to bring up a list of all the different vulnerabilities that are critical with this filtering option applicable to these machines and currently not patched. I can see from this view that a number of these, this number of machines are considered not patched for these, this available content. So in this example, I'll just do a simple drag and drop for the drag selection for the amount of machines that I want to remediate here and select these patches to deploy. Within the, our deployment wizard, we have many different advanced deployment options available so you can manage exactly how you want this content distributed in your environment. Again, for some more complex environments, you may be more interested in scheduling a specific time. For example, if I was managing a, a bank of servers, I would be very interested in making sure that this start time aligns with my maintenance window for updating those servers. So I can schedule that start time specific to a, a certain window. Say I want to schedule this for Saturday. 
at say 7 p.m. In this case it makes sense for this to be a one-time deployment but we also have the option of scheduling a recurring deployment which would make more sense for some scheduled tasks that we have available such as doing a uh, disk defragmentation. From here I can also add some more additional information such as some specific notes about this specific deployment. Again, uh, hypothetically this is a uh, server deployment. This brings up the list of patches that are going to be deployed, including some of the default options that have been pre-selected. And in this case, because these are all Windows machines, I have the pre-selection to chain this, these, the deployment of these patches. They're all scheduled to go in quiet mode, so there's no user interaction required. This does require a reboot, but I'm electing to suppress this reboot until after all the patches have been applied. So I'm chaining the reboot for this case, in this case until the last patch is applied. Further, I have some more advanced deployment options that are available, and I can set those on a patch-by-patch -patch basis on whether or not I want to suppress a chain reboot or get into some more advanced behavior. I then have some deployment notification options. And in this case, I can choose to notify the user of the deployment or not notify the user and apply some custom messaging and allow the user to cancel or snooze or keep that notification on top of their endpoint window. I also have a reboot notification option. In this case, this deployment will require a reboot, so I can elect to have users notified or not notified about the pending reboot the ability to cancel the reboot or the ability to snooze and how much time I have to allow them to snooze it. And this is the end of the deployment wizard. We see a summary of all the different options that have been set for this deployment including the packages that are scheduled for deployment and we're going to go ahead and send that. Oh, thanks, Russ. That truly gives organizations a lot of deployment options. You're welcome. We hope that you enjoyed this short video on how Lumengen patch and remediation helps you improve your security posture and lower your total cost of ownership. For more information, please visit the patch and remediation page on our website, where you can also get free premium security tools to assess your network today. Thank you.